Good morning everyone, my name is Jessica Windham and I am here to do a little ab and tricep workout for you. So I need you to go ahead and get a couple things ready before we get started and that would be a comfortable set of dumbbells you want to work with today or unless you have a resistance band. If not, use something in your house that has weight to it. No excuses, let's get it done. So I need you to First do a warm up if you haven't already. I already did mine, so we can just we're gonna just go right into it. We're not gonna add the warm up up into my vid video this morning. And I want you to make sure you kind of stretch. You can do something in place, jog in place, some jumping jacks, go take a jog around the block, or just do it on a piece of equipment. Make sure all your muscles are warmed up before we get to any kind of resistance workout. I am in my second trimester if you haven't seen any of my other videos. So I'm going to have to modify a few things, but I will show you all the things you can do if you're not pregnant, as well as if you're in a pregnancy. Um, so, and maybe a mat if you are not on a comfortable um, flooring, because we are going to do a couple things down there. And I think that's about it. So let's go ahead. We're going to start with the triceps today. And I want you to just grab your dumbbells and we're just going to pull them upward towards your chin and then we're just going to extend out. We're going to do 15 reps and extend two, three, all the way out, four, squeeze that back side of your arm. Don't forget to breathe. Good, all right. So that you should feel right in this tricep. You're gonna get a little shoulders in there because you're holding that upright position. The next thing we're gonna do is going to be just right here on the floor. I am going to do a modified, what I call the scissor kicks. Um, so if you are not pregnant and you do it lying down, you can cushion underneath your lower back and butt and just stiff legged zigzag in and out. If you feel pressure in your lower back, just kind of keep your level a little bit higher. If you choose to do the upright position, Again, because after the first trimester, you're really not supposed to be laying down flat. Then just make sure your back is flat, chest is out. And again, stiff legged, no flailing legs. And that's about it, really. So let's get to it. Actually, I'm going to turn this way and we're going to go time for 30 seconds. And ready? Begin. So you can do pointed feet or you can have them flexed, just stiff legs, okay? Chest up, back flat, keep breathing through it. Some people like to walk it up and down, kind of get different areas of the abdominals engaged. Okay, good. That is going to work your abdominal muscles and your core. I'm not trying to six pack these days during my pregnancy, but it is important to keep a strong core for anyone because we're all doing lifting chores around the house where we use those core muscles. So you really want to keep a good strong core. So next one we're going to do is a, another tricep one, which again, I'm going to do on the ball. If you, or in the gym, you have a bench or a ball at home, um, or you can just do it flat on the ground. I'm gonna do the incline version. Grab your dumbbells, kind of roll down on it, let it support your, your back. And I want you to just come down to your sides and then pump straight up. Again, we're gonna get those triceps. Two. Exhale up. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Five more. Five, four, three, two, and 
one. Good. All right. We're going to move right along to another ab one, which is going to be your sides. What we call the obliques. And again, if you're not on a comfortable floor, you might want to grab a little towel or a mat, roll it up. We're going to we're going to put your elbow right beneath your shoulder. We're going to do 15 reps. Modified version of this one, beginner level. Um, you can place one leg behind you and just kind of lift in this position. The more advanced one is going to be feet stacked together, stiff as a board, and you're going to keep your elbow right beneath that shoulder and bring your body up to... So you should feel it in the side closest to the ground. Um, you want to try to lift yourself as high up towards the ceiling as you can and as low down to the ground as you can without touching, okay? And we'll go 15 reps. All right, good job. Okay, we're gonna move back to your triceps. We're gonna grab your dumbbell. We're gonna do an overhead tricep press. If you see me keep watching my heart rate monitor, again, it's one of the things you wanna monitor during a pregnancy, or if you have any other medical condition, or just some people like to know where they're at to make sure they're in that proper training zone. You um, makes it really easy so you don't have to keep stopping and getting manual um, heart rates. So, either stagger your feet or keep your feet apart. I'm gonna grab that dumbbell, kinda let it hang. Most common thing I see wrong on this one is people coming over and letting this arm move back and forth. You almost wanna hold it in position, do not let it move. It's just gonna work from the elbow extend up that bend and press and the head of the dumbbell is going straight up not forward and we'll go 15 on each arm extend all the way up switch. You can do this with a resistance band as well. Exhale up. Good, all right. All right, let's just do a little cardio. Get your heart rate back up. And I'm just gonna do a basic, let's just do heels to your butt, okay? So in place, we'll go 30 seconds. And just, again, if you have any kind of knee, hip, any kind of issues with that, just take it and modify. Again, there's so many different levels that you can do with things. But again, most everybody can do something. You just gotta find where you're at and make sure you're at that level. Let's go 
Good, 10 more seconds. All right, good job. I want you guys to now go back through that one more time. Get in the second round. You can add some more reps in. If you have a heavier set of dumbbells, do a little less reps this next round. A little heavier dumbbells. See how you feel. And also the time things. You can add a little bit more time if you need to to bump it up. Or if that felt great, then just do that round one more time and then stretch. I'll go through some basic stretches and then we will call it a day. I want you to pull down. You should feel it right through here. Switch. Okay. Jab. Down. And roll it up. Stretch your lower back. We did some core stuff. Take it to the side, get those side stretch. We did those obliques and switch. All right, that's it for us today. Go ahead, subscribe if you haven't already. Share with all your friends. It's free workouts, they're quick and easy. If you have any questions or have any feedback for me, Please feel free to email me at campsweat at gmail.com. And if you haven't already, follow me on my Camp Sweat Instagram. I hope you have a good one.